Steve Jobs, Patrick Swayze, Nargis Dutt, and Alex Trebek. What do these people have in common? Yes, they are all famous personalities. But did you know that they have another similarity? They all share a disease, pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a highly lethal and incurable disease, of which survival rates have not significantly improved in the last 40 years. It is the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. and is expected to become the second this year. Here in India, it has a 98% mortality rate. I'm Rishabh Jain, and my journey in the world of research and artificial intelligence has led me to create two inventions to help treat pancreatic cancer more effectively. <laughs> Ever since a young age, I have always loved science. On my fourth birthday, it was so much fun to play science experiments with my older brother at Oregon Science Museum in the U.S. He inspired me to first engage in simple programming, robotics, and eventually artificial intelligence. In the summer of 2017, I came across some data that will shock you. Despite all technological and medical advancements, 90% of pancreatic cancer patients die within just five years. Guided by my curiosity in science, I investigated if I could use my knowledge in programming and AI to make a difference. My journey to solving this problem started with learning about the pancreas. The pancreas is an organ located deep inside the abdomen. The pancreas is surrounded by other structures, such as the stomach and spine. This position allows pancreatic cancer to spread to vital organs easily in a process called metastasis and makes it very difficult to treat. It is essential to start treating patients immediately with accuracy and efficiency. I invented the Pancreatic Cancer Deep Learning System, also known as PCDLS, an artificial intelligence tool that aims to improve a treatment called radiotherapy. Using powerful beams, radiation can shrink cancer growth significantly. How many of you have ever hit a bullseye on a dartboard? It can be hard, right? Now imagine that dartboard moving around constantly, this is the case for pancreatic cancer. The tumor is hard to reach and moves due to breathing. This makes radiotherapy difficult, and doctors have to add a margin around the pancreas that can result in collateral damage. Since radiotherapy sessions are lengthy and have to be administered many times, eventually, side effects develop, which can lead to death. I trained PCDLS's artificial intelligence algorithm on thousands of MRI abdominal images and told it exactly where the pancreas was. Over time, PCDLS learned to pinpoint the exact location of the pancreas so that a radiotherapy machine can apply radiation to that location and hit the bullseye every time. When connected to an MRI and radiotherapy machine, PCDLS will offer a high accuracy of over 98% to save healthy cells and improve patient quality of care, eventually saving lives. How many of us know someone who has lost a loved one to pancreatic cancer? It's heartbreaking to understand that spreading awareness for this disease is hard because the people who get it don't live long enough. In 2018, I met several patients and survivors. It was an inspiring moment to hear their personal stories of courage and their deep desires to be healthy. My hope is to implement PCDLS in a hospital setting to help such patients. In my second invention, I wondered if there was a way that pancreatic cancer treatments could have a higher success. Was there a way that patients could be given treatments based on their characteristics? Through research, I came across a new field of cancer treatment known as precision medicine. 
In precision medicine, a patient's characteristics, such as genetics, are used to precisely target cancer. Cancer itself is formed by abnormal variations in genes, known as mutations. Every cancer and every human has unique mutations, meaning that every patient will react differently to medication. In the conventional one-drug-treats-all approach, multiple patients are given the same treatment. This may result in harmful effects for some patients. Whereas in the precision approach, based on a patient's characteristics, personalized drugs can be given to cancel out those mutations. But the problem is that today, it can take up to a month of time before pancreatic cancer patients can begin personalized treatments. First, doctors must cut out a small piece of cancer tissue, a process known as a biopsy. Next, in the lab, DNA is extracted from this cancer tissue. In genome sequencing, this DNA is mapped out on a molecular level. Here, genetic mutations can be spotted. After all of this, a treatment plan needs to be made, and medications have to be authorized before they can finally be administered. But imagine if there was a way that we could cut this process down and start treating patients in as little as a few days. What if? we could predict genetic mutations from just a biopsy image. I invented the pancreas detective, which does just that. By harnessing AI, <laughs> by harnessing AI, we can actually predict mutations from the biopsy, which is something that the human eye just can't do. I trained my invention on the most common mutated genes and a patient's corresponding biopsy. After training and fine-tuning, the pancreas detective learned how to make this match in a matter of seconds. When a patient with pancreatic cancer is expected to live just four months, every day counts towards combating this deadly disease. The pancreas detective can help save this crucial time in a patient's fight against pancreatic cancer. Looking back at the last few years, I have grown along with my inventions. Initially, when working on such a pressing problem, it was a little bit intimidating, but my curiosity in science kept me spending more time with the problem and asking questions. Countless hours debugging my code and running experiments paid off when my tools were successful. These experiences were exciting, rewarding, and inspiring. To create these same experiences, along with my older brother, we co-founded the Samyak Science Society, a nonprofit organization that aims to promote science and technology to all children, especially those in need. <laughs> Albert Einstein once said, I'm neither especially clever nor especially gifted. I'm only very, very curious. If one Einstein was able to make such a large difference, imagine a world where we had thousands of Einsteins. By igniting that same spark of curiosity in science, we can unlock the potential of other youth. This will allow us to solve all the complex problems of our world, including pancreatic cancer. Join me to spread awareness and innovate. One day, let's cure pancreatic cancer. Thank you.